Good morning, beautiful family. I hope you are well today. Today is Monday, April the 29th. Yeah, we're almost done with April. Can you believe it? That's okay. Maybe winter's finally going to go away. All right. Now, what's not going to go away is divine messages and advice from spirit. So let's get into this and let it bring a blessing to you, not only for today, but the rest of the week. And hopefully you'll not only get the blessing, but some insight. And before I get into it, I thought it was interesting that spirit uh, brought in some cards that kind of look similar to each other, but they're from complete different decks. Starseed, Secret Language of Light. They look very similar. Maybe that's just me, but I think they look similar. Let's find out what they're about today. All right. Now, as always, we start with our Fairy Oracle today. And we've got a uh, busy card, repeat, inner child. They still want us to focus on what it's like to be innocent, carefree, joyful, playful. Okay. The fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps you as keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. That means let's not be daredevils, okay? You adrenaline junkies out there, you're gonna think about doing something crazy. Hey, I'm all about skydiving and stuff. Uh the landing may not be too pretty for me, but that's okay. Maybe I'll bounce, but let's think of something that we can do to be playful, inner child. What was it like to be young and innocent and carefree? Maybe that's hanging out with your babies, grandbabies, great-grandbabies, what, nieces, nephews. Um, you know, remember what it's like to uh, have an imagination, but it's about being carefree, all right? All right, Angelic Light Worker today is number 27, Freeing the Threads of Connection. Freeing the Threads of Connection. We've talked a lot recently about cutting cords, cleaning stuff up. Let's see what spirit explains this to be. Archangel Gabriel offers the gift of protection to those experiencing the loss of a relationship with a loved one. We need encourage, commit, and patience to process the shock of the loss of an ending. Whether it was wanted or unwanted, on our part, the end of a relationship creates a change in the energetic ecosystem of our immediate community. It takes presence and attention to allow the threads of connection to unwind, freeing all parties to continue their journeys. This oracle may relate to the ending of a relationship from long ago, even in past lifetimes that still hold space in your heart. You're now becoming ready to let go. Open your heart to greater freedom of peace. And this is cutting cords and saying goodbye to someone maybe they're not serving you spiritually maybe you've been hurt by them and that's where I will always advise to forgive you know not only that person but yourself and you know we we give it to the divine creator that if if something's not working out for you if it's not serving you it's okay to let it go because they still had a purpose of being there to begin with. What did you learn from it? And anybody that's hurt you or you've had to cut ties with, or maybe you hurt them and they cut ties with you, you still got to let go. You wish them and yourself love and the absolute best in the future. No bitterness, nothing nasty and ugly. Okay. Okay, let's move on to your mystical shaman, and it's number 60, the vision quest. All right, well, we know that we're all on a quest. Let's find out what this quest is about. 
All right. In the vision quest, you face your fear, embrace your mortality, and then meet face to face with spirit. When we feel stagnant, a vision quest brings our lives into perspective. We realize our flaws, our potential, and the opportunities life is now offering us. We remain on a vision quest until we find the key to open a door or write a new chapter in our lives. And that may have to do with freeing the threads of connection. Maybe your quest is to remember not to take the adulting process so seriously and be the inner child. Whatever your quest is, we're all going to make mistakes. We're going to make wrong turns and that's okay. And then again, maybe it'll be absolutely beautiful. Maybe no mistakes are made, but this is life. So whatever your quest is, make it the best. Your full potential is there. Don't be stagnant. Know that there's so much more to you and your energy. All right. Okay. We have secret language of light today. It's about being a light being. And we are. We're divinely made human beings made from our divine creator. We're all made of light. All right. So if we started out crystalline light and now we have these meat sacks. Well, we still have an inner light to us. It's our spirit. It's our soul. Because we're divinely made. Let's see what the author has to say about this one. All right. This image depicts a light being. The term light being is used to describe a range of ethereal forms, including guides and angels. They observe your life from a higher perspective, so they can see the most auspicious path for you to create your dreams and desires. Sometimes your light beings may seem to take you down a path fraught with difficulty. However, everything happens for a reason. Just as we know a baby will eventually walk, you will also find your footing and attain your dreams. Your light beings are not here to save you, for that would interfere with your ability to create unique paths and conclusions. They are the keepers of the faith that holds stream Hold and stream your past, present, and future dreams and desires to your heart. Only you can decide what to do with that information. You can't get it wrong, for your light beings will show you, just show you another way. That's right. No matter what that vision quest is. All right. You are being divinely guided. It could be guardian angels, Yeshua, your divine creator himself. It could be your higher self. Maybe it's the archangels. Maybe it's a combination of all of them, which I believe. Maybe they're leading you down a path so you can learn from something difficult. But remember, they cannot interfere with free will. You get to make the choices of how you handle it. Are you handling it with grace? And if it's the wrong decision, remember, you can always turn it around. It's okay. There's no wrong or right. Welcome to school. Are we ready for our finals yet? All right. Love and Light Oracle today. Express yourself through creativity. Praise his name with dancing accompanied by tambourine and harp. So we're still playing our music and dancing. Maybe that's being the inner child again. Are we remembering to have fun on our vision quest? And if these light beings, our higher ups, ascended masters, are telling us to have some fun, whatever creativity is to you, are you embracing it or are you sweeping it under the rug because you're too adulting? Isn't it fun? I said on the show the other day, I think adulting was the dumbest thing I ever did, right? But here we are. But... You know, like that innocent little baby that will eventually walk and talk. Well, sometimes we fall on our face a few times and it's okay. We learn to steady our steps. What are you learning about your walk? All right, angel therapy today is Archangel Michael. So we've had Gabriel come in, the rest of our light beings. Archangel Michael's a busy bee too. He's a warrior for you. 
You're working very closely with this powerful archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. So whatever that quest is that you're on right now, he's going to protect you through it. Absolutely. You can call upon Archangel Michael. Now, he doesn't take orders from you. He takes orders from the Creator. But if you call out for help, the Creator nods, Michael, go. And he will show up. I have seen him fight many battles, small and large. Remember, he's on your side. One powerful Archangel. He's the ruler of God's army. I would mess with him. All right, your starseed oracle today, this is the one that kind of looked like that to me. It's called Double Mission. Lightworker starseed, serve the world by being you. Are you doing you, boo? Hmm, a double mission. All right, let's see what it means. Lightworker starseeds are mission and purpose oriented. Many have the feeling that time's running out and there's something they came here to do, create or contribute. They're here to grow as souls individually. It's like an individual mission. That's just for you. And also to contribute to the planet in some action-oriented way. And that's the collective mission. So now we understand. You have your personal mission. And then as we come together as this beautiful soul family, that's, that makes a double mission. And then we'll do something as a group, which I think we are. The way we get together, we share, we laugh, we cry, we pray. That's a mission in itself to help humanity. And that starts with us. Their collective mission is often answered through a career calling or by devoting their life to something bigger. Until they remember their collective mission, it can feel as if something's missing or that they're forgetting something important. It's common for light worker star seeds to feel that they're different. Oh, I I can agree with that. And they may carry soul memories of being visible or sharing their voice. As such, they may protect themselves by dimming their light in order to fit in or by spending time in some sort of closet such as a spiritual closet. Yeah, let's not cover up who we are, all right? You've got to remember, people want to know you as you. Don't dim your light because you want to fit in as a part of a clique or a group. If people can't accept and love you for the way you are, then you're not being the authentic you, okay? You can't express yourself the way you want. You're not free in those threads of a connection, all right? You can't freely go down your vision quest, okay? Who are you? Okay, let's see. If you pull this card, you're being called to remember your collective mission and step into it even more fully. You're being reminded that your role as a light worker is to light up the world with your presence. This doesn't have to be a great big thing or a decision you need to make. You also don't need to have a great big plan. If you resonate with being a light worker, all you need to do is work out what lights you up. That means your passions and joys. And keep doing that. Well, those are the things that we had as an inner child, right? A little kid. What made us happy? When you trust and follow the simple plan of things that light you up, then lose yourself in the doing. You'll light up the world without even trying. People want to see the real you, not someone pretending to be you. So remember and look within. Oh, it's been a while. Let's say it. Come on, Mufasa. Remember who you are. Uh-huh. Yep. Jen went there. All right. So your telepathy tree oracle today is a maze. Great. We're going to get lost. Even if you feel lost, there's always a way through the maze. Well, yeah, on our quest, sometimes we get turned around and bump into walls. Well, the brighter your light of who you are, the decisions will get downloaded. And you will make your way through the maze. Mazes do have openings. Somewhere, there is a way out. You may have to backtrack. But that's okay. 
We learn at each turning corner. What are you learning on your maze today? Sometimes it's free sailing and it's very obvious of where the next move and turn and corner is. And then sometimes it gets dark. Shine your light because you're a light being. All right. And if you need help along the way of this maze, call upon your higher light beings Call upon your collective, their light beings too. Call upon Archangel Michael. Whoever that is, you'll get through the maze. It'll be fine. There's a way in, there's a way out. All right. Your extra little card today from Tarot. Ooh, big major arcana. It's number one. And I don't, I think we've had him before. Maybe when we first started introducing this deck. But it's the Magician. The Magician is a very, very powerful card because it possesses all the elements of creation, okay? Remember, the pentacles are earth, all right? And the cups are water, wands are fire, swords are air. Now, you possess all of these things. Are you using them? You have everything that you need. He has a little magic wand here. Right, it means that he can connect with the divine and then make it manifest down here where we're at on our, our maze, on our vision quest. Are you tapping into all of your potential? But he's a great positive reminder that you can do it. All right, you absolutely are divinely made. And you have all the tools because the divine creator gave them to you. Make sure that you have the passion and desire. Maybe that light is dimming or it's gone out. You need to do some soul searching and find out where the passion went. Go in and find that inner child. Go find the light beings above you. Maybe that's your higher self. All right. Your quest is here to get through the maze, learn your lessons. Rough sometimes? Yep. Is it worth it? Yep. Because we have a higher mission. Our soul is to go home and be with the Creator. No more pain, no more sorrow, no more tears. Sounds good to me. We can manifest this beautiful thing now in our own way. Are you doing it? Be the magician. Work your magic. Remember we had that card the other day. Work your magic because you are a magical creation. Now you create something. All right. With that being said, I want you all to have a very blessed day. I will see you on the show later. And in the meantime, I love you.